And I came along with it. Oh. What do you think? I redecorated it. This is so fresh. Isn't it so exciting? <laughs> don't waste your time. But don't waste our time with stupid questions. Let's get this over with. Good, good. You're rip raring to go. Got to say, I don't hate it. Not at all. Okay, then. Let's get this show on the road. Everyone, please find your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. At House on the Hill. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. You'd be a really shitty poet. Yeah. Like, I'm hoping it would make more sense in Japanese. Set skills! Okay, so. Increase the speed of memorizing a statement. Effective during the non-stop debate. Might as well. Plus 2 SP. Yeah, we have a lot of SP. And I don't think we nearly have enough. We already have that one equipped. But, uh. Yeah, increase the damage of the poem once the statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet time battle. <sighs> yeah, I think we only have two. Because we've only befriended yeah. two people, so. Uh, <laughs> Can we prevent things to people? Here. Let's give some coal and have them admit to being the killer. Yeah. Cool, done. Why is it so sporadic at the bottom? Like, the text isn't sliding, it's like jumping forward. I don't know, man. Is that on purpose? No, it's doing it smooth now. Trial. All rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive you can punishment. Skip escape. Then I'll knows. punish everyone besides the blackened and the one. Okay, voice. then. So, first off, I wish she like gave a little bit more variety to his speech because you know I just like hearing his voice. About the murder weapon. First, we have to make clear what was used to deliver the fatal blow. Make your argument. Gabe, you might want to go through your, your bullets. I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> okay. It it I'm pressing different buttons. That is um, your. That's the, that's your control right Got it. The killer used the blunt instrument, but what kind of blunt instrument could it be? Did you even look at the crime scene, my dude? I mean, yeah, it doesn't contradict what he said. And what you're trying to do isn't introduced until the second game. Okay. I'm going off of Phoenix Wright logic, back when I used to play that game. I bet it was an iron pipe. There you go. And you missed. I did. So. God, it takes forever to shoot this gun. Yeah. For a gun, it's really slow. Chihiro's fatal injury. It appears it was a head wound. So I have to just leave the shot. Or you can also, slow I hate it down. That it, like, you have that ability. Yeah, I don't want to do that. You did it. Just to, there it is, right there. Yeah, okay. I was trying to figure out what it was. I bet it was an iron party. Normally, okay, you keep it slowed down point. when you fire, so you can do both yeah, it, at the same time. it wore off. It wore off. <laughs> it does have a time limit, yes. The dealt the fatal blow yeah. was the dumbbell found at the also, scene of the crime. Also, hot fucking idiot. God damn. It was covered yeah. in blood. There was iron pipe when there's there a dumbbell two feet away covered in blood. And there was nothing else at the that kind of injury. And the wound on the victim's head is consistent with the shape of the dumbbell. As far as I'm concerned, there's no mistake and no room for doubt on this one. You Shut up, Karapika. Looked at her head wound? Okay, are we? We are going to die if we don't find the killer. Yes, we're we looked investigating at the head a wound. murder, Owie. You inspect bodies. That's so creepy. Moving if you on. Don't mind. I will proceed from here. Let's move on to discussion of the culprit. Although, I believe the criminal behind this heinous act is already quite clear. 
It's obviously me. The cunt. It's obviously Makoto. What? Real? The hero's killer is the fiendish serial killer, Genocide Jack. No. No, I didn't. Um, okay. Let's listen to this because every time I think I know everything, it's bullshit. Okay. For this debate, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your What, um, what difficulty are we on? Gentle is, normal? um, gentle is normal. Kind is normal? easy. I was on kind. I don't think I can check. Yeah, I don't know, but if you're unkind, you don't have white noise, so. Jeffrey. These lines to think of as obstacles in your debate. But there's a way to keep this white noise from getting in your way. Press A button to attach the silencer, which you can use to shoot down the white noise. However, you shoot the actual mark, the silencer, so the white noise can increase. Okay. Gentle is kind is normal, gentle is easy. So I don't know which one we're on, so. If there's white noise, we're on gen- or kind, so. The culprit is Genocide Jack. I'm sure. Case okay, closed. so you do have white noise, so you're on kind. But, that's impossible! What? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, come on! There's just no proof for it. No, wait. Hey, so I want to hear these. Anyway. Genocide, yeah. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Something to get. Says genocide Jack is related to the case. It has to be. Is genocide Jack. I'm sure. I like how we can just get everyone to repeat the same lines over and over again. But that's impossible. Why? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, you might want to look at the other bullets you have, just by the way. There's just no proof. I already did. No, it's wrong. It showed me the list of bullets, and I didn't know which one to use. I mean, well, it definitely I didn't wasn't the lamp in this one case. He could be involved. It showed him at the beginning. It showed the headlamp. The, yeah, I know, uh, but I didn't see him. The barbell and the case file. I might know one reason what? he could be involved. I found this file while I was looking around the archive in the library. I guess it's some kind of confidential file the police put together about the Genocide Jack case. What? That's kind of weird as shit, isn't it? What was something like that doing in the library? The why of it is probably more trouble than it's worth. So let's forget about that for now. More importantly, it outlines all the specifics of every Genocide Jack case in exceeding detail. According to the file, there appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. You got that the wrong! first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every murder. Oh, that's right. Oob lust. <laughs> Definitely. <hurt me. laughs> I was drinking water, you piece of shit. No, it's actually bloodlust. But more important is the other characteristic. And it's something that has never been made public. Never made public? What the hell is it? Why don't you tell them, Makoto? I got it! Apparently, in every Genocide Jack case, the killer suspends the body in a certain way. Other than the killer, the only people who know about this are the higher-ups in the police department. However, Chihiro was most definitely suspended in the same way. So, how did the culprit know about this when only high-level police officials were aware of it? There's only one logical answer I can think of. It's because the culprit in this case is the real Genocide Jack. Or is right no, the case on him. No. Like we did. Genocide Jack is one of us? Yes. In fact, it's Toko. Oh, man. <laughs> Wild. Wow. What? Such a reveal. Genocide Jack's true identity is Toko Fukawa. The tiny girl. 
who overpowered 40 year olds. I like how this entire fucking setup was just so the Biakuya could break his promise to Toko about not telling anybody that she's genocide Jack. <laughs> he yeah. literally was just like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking tell everybody. Fuck you, cunt. So I've been mean to say it, but his hair looks like a fucking chin strap. Yeah, it does. or whatever, remember? What kind of serial killer is afraid of blood? Is Toko Genocide Jack? The answer is yes and no. Another riddle. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a riddle on the way, but I feel like I can just about see it. Genocide Jack is Toko, but isn't Toko. What does it mean? Hangman's Gambit. This one's a little problematic. It's S. Um. No. Nope. Um. What do you think that word is? It's C. I don't know. It's C. It's C. Shit. She's. Z. She's. I really don't know what this is. Oh. Shizo? As in Mizuno? No, schizo. Schizophrenic. <laughs> it's a very, like, offensive, offensive term. term for someone with schizophrenia. Yeah. But I guess they had to go Just... with it because, like, they had to fit the same amount of words as the Japanese, so. Mm -hmm. huh? Ooh. I think I read that somewhere in the file, too. They thought that the suspect might have, what did they call it? Dissociative identity disorder. Oh, okay. But still, to go and say that about Miss Fukawa is perfectly acceptable. Toko's strange <laughs> behavior after seeing the body is proof enough that she has a split personality. The one thing that shows Toko could have a split personality has to do with her behavior. Uh, it's the top one. I got yeah. I You're felt like about that was a trick somehow. Acting totally different than usual, right? That's right. Think back. She fainted when she saw Chihiro's corpse, and then when she woke up. She was acting funny, that's for sure. That melancholy tone of hers completely disappeared. Don't go assigning adjectives to my tongue without permission. Yeah, um... Not to mention, yeah. once she regained consciousness and saw Chihiro's body again, she was utterly calm. In other words, within her is one personality that can't handle blood, and one that obviously can't. <laughs> so when Toko trapped herself in her room, it's because she was scared of Genocide Jack? You don't say. The reason she locked herself in her room wasn't to keep other people from getting in. It was to keep her other personality from getting out. What? Toko was afraid. Afraid of the murderous fiend inside of her. Of killing even more people. <gasps> How can you know all this? I do believe you misunderstood her. What she's trying to say isn't, how can you know all this? No. What she wants to know is, how could you tell them? Huh? Last night, just before Monokuma gave his motive speech, Toko and I had a strange conversation. She told me a most interesting story. She said, a murderous fiend lived within her, and she was afraid it could appear and attack at any time. And that trepidation is what's caused her to have such a bleak attitude. Isn't that right, Toko? <laughs> this is all a lie. Right, Toko? You said you wouldn't tell anyone. What? You promised? I can't believe you lied! I can. Yeah. Only yourself to blame. He's an asshole. You came to me with your tragic little story. I didn't ask you to. This is the real world. 
not some romantic fantasy fairy tale. <laughs> Besides, you broke your promise first. You said that as long as you were here, no matter what, you wouldn't let Genocide Jack kill anyone. Go fuck yourself, Bianca. But in spite of that promise... You said if I kept my promise, you would go out with me. That's the only reason I promise! How many times do I have to tell you? I never said that, but you weren't able to do it. You just couldn't resist that rush you got from killing, could you? I, I tried! I swear I tried to control it! <laughs> but your efforts were useless. What a disappointment. I hate you. Well, the opening act is nearly finished. All that's left is to hear from the person in question directly. The person? You don't mean... Toka's body suddenly lunged backwards. Huge thud echoed across the court. Better the next second. Wow, hello there! Is it me you were hoping to see? God, I love Genocide Is it Genocide me Jack. you're looking for? I love Genocide Jack. She's one of the best Genocide Jill. Ever. No. What the heck? We what ignore that. Out, huh? Well, whatever. What are you gonna do? Why does it say Jill? It was a translation thing. I don't think they actually call her that, though. I hope not. Ooh. Let's go with genocide Jill. No. We're not. We're not gonna That's do that. That's stupid. What happened to you? That's a loser name. And what happened is a textbook split personality. So what if one of them happens to be a serial killer? You should turn a blind eye to one's I love my wife. Yeah. Like they say, sound and murder is mine, sound and murder is body. This one is so different from the one we've come to know. Yes, well, the world is composed of a front and a back, you know. Just like how every inning has a top and a bottom, or how in the depths of every truth every couple is a top and a bottom. Lie. Oh, shut the fuck. <laughs> also, didn't... Did mm. Makoto say this before? No, she did. Oh. When she when she passed out after seeing Chihiro, she woke up and said this. Oh, okay, that's oh, when I heard that. Dark and gloomy soul lives another that shines as bright as the sun. I feel like it made a joke that she could be a better poet than Makoto. <laughs> this is the murder speed genocide Jack. Yeah, this, she's this cool. is this is beyond insane. Um, Jack, uh, Jill, what's up? Moving on. Some of us think you might be the mastermind behind our entire situation. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'll tell you. I am the mastermind of all masterminds. Just kidding. And it's not true? Of course it's not true. How dare you try to link me to that creepazoid? I like that. Thing. The police and government and society in the outside world are totally powerless. I mean, they just let this idiotic bloodthirsty maniac go buck wild all over town. Honestly, that could mean a very different thing. Sure, I'm a bloodthirsty yeah. maniac, but life is pain, right? To live is to hurt other people. It's a necessary evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. Just kidding again! <laughs> this should be enough to convince you. This murderous fiend is responsible for Chihiro's death. There's clearly a motive. So there should be no doubt. A motive? Remember what Monokuma told us? If someone didn't murder and graduate within 24 hours, an embarrassing memory or secret would be revealed. Well, let's assume that Toko's secret was about Genocide Jack. If a secret like that came to light, Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. So she had a very clear motive to never have that side of herself exposed. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. But sorry, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the culprit. Huh? 
But I cannot imagine anyone other than you could murder someone in such a bizarre fashion. Maybe so, maybe so, but nevertheless, it's the truth! Do you really expect any of us to believe you? Yeah! I could never believe a word you say, you monster! Maybe. Maybe she's totally right about that, but something's still bothering me. But she said, I need to get some more details about all of this. Make your argument. The library death stamp status of the dead body disappearing stain. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking. When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. What more proof do we need? <laughs> Give it up. I love her so much. Her. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I like this side of her more than I like the other, purely because the other one hasn't had time to develop yet. I'm hoping there's more to her character. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone! You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking! When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. Yeah, no, you got that wrong. So, let's check it out. Are the methods of murder really exactly the same? I'm not so sure about that. I think there's a slight difference between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. Huh? You don't know? Well then, human garbage! Let me tell you! Gotta love Jack, yes. Kill him. Kill I him. murder with passion and conviction. I consider myself a professional, and I have a very particular way of doing things. Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. But what happened to Chihiro? It'd be like if that same Italian restaurant started using ragu or Chef Boyardee. This is no creation of mine. Oof. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Also, ragu is really bad. Maybe that's... makes more sense. There are two clear differences between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. There's one clear difference between the murders. Um... I got it! For one, the cause of death is different. In the Genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. According to the case file, they were all apparently killed with... a pair of scissors. But Chihiro died from a blow to the head, right? Ah, uh, yes! That is remarkably different from the other murders. Wouldn't it be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their method? And there's more. One more conflicting detail. That's right! In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini, then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce! That <laughs> face! Could you please stop and pick the difference has to do with how the body was arranged? That's right, the second difference is related to how she was suspended. Um, what was used to suspend her. Do you remember what the killer used to suspend her? They used some kind of rope to hang her up by her Not quite some kind of rope, but yeah. What is your point? Well, in all the previous Genocide Jack cases, something else was used to suspend her. Specifically, pairs of razor sharp scissors. Why is why is Nagy so roundabout in his way of talking? And guess what? I use my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangement. Like I said, I'm a professional, so naturally I'm very picky about the tools I use. And 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 and, 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 and you know what else? Big Mac said there's two differences, but he's wrong. Yeah, she Big calls us. Big Mac. Are you referring to me? What? Makoto? Uh, Makoto, got it. <laughs> yeah. Listen up, Big Mac! There's actually one more difference! Huh? Yeah. My word, you really didn't notice? Take a look at who the victims were idiot. in each Genocide Jack case! There's a pattern there, just waiting to 
How would you not notice that every single victim was male? Are you fucking kidding me? Um... That's literally one of the first fucking things they look at. Uh... Yeah, Gabe, I know, but, like, that should have been glaring to them, like, to, for now. Yeah, yeah, okay, but... There was it will get debunked, but, like, it should have been something they noticed. I think I figured it out. <laughs> Her lover! <laughs> this is a soap opera now. because Chihiro was a girl? In all the Genocide Jack cases, all the victims had something in common. It's literally the first thing the cops would have looked at, is what the victims have. Yeah, but it doesn't say it on this page that he looked at. No, but if you look at it, you're like, oh hi, all these people are guys. Well, I mean, That's crazy. on this one page that we personally were able to see, there's only two victims, and they're both guys. Yeah, I know, but he says he flips through, looks, and names all of these men. I mean, to be fair, I don't know that Kano is a guy's name. He's, well, his first name is Issei. Oh, which Issei is a right, guy's name. right. I forgot that it goes last name, first name. Yeah, you're correct. But also, he would know that. Makoto yeah. would know yeah, that. Yes, he... he would look at these and see that they are men. Like, we don't see it, but he should have. Masamune? Someone was. Okay. Masamue. Oh, okay. They were all. That's right! The people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little men! <laughs> okay. <laughs> You. I can't help it! I'm just a full throttle boy on boy fangirl! And the mopey side of me just hates it! But now I'm on the fast track to becoming a full fledged man metal! So, since Chihiro was a girl and not an adorable little man, you wouldn't kill her? Would an Italian chef suddenly start making ramen just because they're both noodles? Don't be stupid! I have too much passion and conviction to cross that line! That's the absolute reality of the one and only! We get it. You clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy. But that's not all there is to it. It's a different matter entirely. When you're forced to kill in order to survive. Lowly curve! Lowly curve. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jack, tear him right, down! So right off the bat, I like Jack. <laughs> amazing. I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. And if by some fluke I did kill to survive. Why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect! That does make some amount of sense. Plus, whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prized scissors! Who would go out of their way to use a big, stupid, heavy dumbbell? Maybe you use the dumbbell because you couldn't find any scissors in the school? Any scissors? I don't just use any scissors! I only use my own set of high-class envy of the entire world! Scissors! Okay, whatever. Are you sure about that? Da -da -da -da! <laughs> She's fully equipped! That's right! So I can kill anywhere, anytime! Why would I resort to dumbbells or rope when I have my trusty scissors by my side? Tell me I'm wrong, you can't can you scutter dogs, all of you! Not to mention, I have no clue how to tie a good knot! <laughs> the rope's totally out of the question anyway! <laughs> I have no idea what's going on anymore! Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? I mean, well, innocent? I'm not innocent, no. but, but of this particular crime, yeah. Yeah, um, listen. Being... Being a criminal does not make you guilty of all crime. It just makes you guilty of the crimes you committed. But the body really was suspended, right? And nobody but the police knew about that. Yeah. That's why we figured it had to be the real deal, and not some copycat killer or whatever. Actually, hold on. There is one person. One person who could have copied the Genocide Jack cases. There's obviously Leon Kawada. Leon Kawada! <laughs> Fucking bitch. Here's my answer. You got that wrong. <laughs> Byakuya, it's possible you could have found out, isn't it? You'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you have already looked through the Genocide Jack file before this all happened, hadn't you? Are you 
saying Mr. Togami did it? Then, the reason he pushed the theory of Genocide Jack being the killer so hard was because he wanted to pin the crime on her. Oh, he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it! The real murderer, not saying who it is, is probably here just so fucking confused <laughs> at what's happening. Just yeah. like, what's going on? <laughs> I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. Then I must ask, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. Hmm. Looking back and thinking about it now, the way you were acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. So we're like, I almost took the girls' room first. to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why but we didn't know that yet! We hadn't found the fucking body, you I idiot! About that, I'd say. On the contrary, there's something very strange. Okay, then. What's so strange about it? We hadn't found the body yet! Why is common sense so different? For you people, go ahead, share with the rest of the class. It's a perfect thing. 11037! <laughs> okay, like I said, uh, sharing with the rest of the class is perfect for this because honestly, we are a class. This is a class trial. Yeah. Also, that face. Not even Bianca. Fuck him. I just want to shift the entire screen over to 13th Slash right now. <laughs>